round move. Justin Arnold back here again with Flex MP for another TRX Tuesday. How many of you out there that are watching this right now has started your New Year's resolution of working out? Raise of hands. Well, I can't see them anyways. But the point of this video is I know a lot of people are hitting it hard, doing high intensity interval workouts, hitting some hard workouts, probably seven days a week for some of you. The problem with that is you're gonna get burnout real fast. And I get it, I love working out. You're probably starting to find some enjoyment or at least really pressured into doing it because you got some high goals. The point of what I got for you today is some active recovery. So for those out there who wanna keep moving, feel like they're doing some sort of workout, but need to bring the intensity level down, get some mobility, get some flexibility back in your life, that's what today's workout is all about. So anyways, what we're gonna start out with, handles can be about mid link. We're gonna lay on them. I see a lot of people do these incorrectly. All you wanna do is throw them underneath your armpit, lay your body into them, and get into almost like this standing tall plank position. If you can see, my toes are dug in, my heels are off the ground. What we're gonna do is what's called a TRX front squat, where we sit back. Now for this, I just want you to focus on the movement and the mobility, and so we're gonna set a clock for all these. So we're just gonna put one minute on that clock. If you feel you want a little more time, spend a little time but just one minute intervals and just switching from one movement to the next. And just go back as far as you can. Now with these, make sure you don't go too far back and add a rock to it. But what that's gonna do, yeah, you're gonna get some quad and glute work, but you're gonna get some great knee and hip mobility as well. And they're actually gonna let go. I wanted to show you this one. Typically, I only stick to TRX on these TRX Tuesdays, but I really love this one. I was like, man, I don't think I throw this in a video yet. So these are called candlesticks to reach. So what is that? Basically, we're gonna start here we're gonna start with the reach, then we're gonna bring our legs together, pop it up. Now obviously find a soft surface and have some fun. Maybe you lack mobility, maybe this is hard for you. I guarantee the more you do this and the more playfulness you get with it, the more you have fun with it, the more you feel it. So we're getting our hamstrings there, getting a little core, but by sitting here and rolling my back, you'll feel your back actually start to loosen up, your spine to loosen up, and that is all we're doing with that one. For the next one, we're gonna add some core work. So it wouldn't be an active recovery without a little bit of core work. And we're just gonna keep it simple today. And that is just this plank. This is where you get a good chance to focus on, is your, are your abs activating? Are you in the right position if you're in these intense workouts? Because a lot of times you're just moving so fast you can't even think. So this is the time to focus. Squeeze those quads, squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs, and you're pushing through your shoulder blades. When you're doing some of these workouts, you might be here and not even know it, especially if you're in these larger group classes and that coach is running around doing the best job they can, but when there's 20 people in, they can't check you on your form. So make sure you're feeling your abs and those muscles I told you about contracting. From there, we're gonna go prone floor. So actually our feet are staying in there. And you could do this without the straps, but I found recently by getting in here, and if you were just to lay here and almost like reach out as far as you can, just kind of relax or even straighten your legs out like this, you'll feel a deeper hip, spine, and back stretch. So what is a prone snow angel? So it's just like this. So from here, we're squeezing our quads. I'm opening up my back, my hips, but now I'm getting some shoulder and scapula or shoulder blade mobility. So I'm reaching out as far as I can, loosening up my lats, my back, and just like that. And now if you can't get your hands back here, no problem, just go as far as you can. And you're trying to reach, extend that range of motion. My pinkies touch, reach. You can even go slow, just like that. Then from there, let me check my board here. We got Cossack. So we're gonna keep those straps here after those prone angels. So this could be a workout. You just wanna make sure that you have stability. And this, again, could work on some single leg form. Typically, you're probably not doing movements like this in a group setting or maybe in your workouts. But we're gonna go slow. So this leg's actually getting some work for those looking to get a good workout. But then we're stretching that inner groin. Again, you could put your hands here if you're not sure of your form. This is gonna help keep the chest up, shoulder blades back. And this makes sure our hips are sitting back as well, which is what we want. You can go slow at first, but there you go. Some single leg work, and then some stretch. Then we got three more movements and that'll be eight total here. We're gonna go pike, so back to another core move. And you've seen me do this before. And and this might be a little bit harder, but why I like this for an active recovery day is because you're good, getting more shoulder mobility like this, you're getting some core work, you're actually getting some back work as well. The key to this is use your abs to lift up. Feel like a string is pulling up from your belly button. Now maybe you can't do that many, or maybe you need to do something like this. You just come into a reverse crunch, press up, 
and then eccentrically lower. That's what that's called right there. Boom, boom. And not to say that's necessarily easier, but that might be a good modification for somebody like yourself. Two more, and then we wrap this guy up. It wouldn't be a good act of recovery without some good hamstring. Because how many out there feel really tight in here a lot, especially if you got desk work, you're a desk jockey. So you're gonna just press on those straps that are close to the hip. We're just gonna extend the leg. So the addition that I like to make when I'm here, I actually lift that leg a little higher. You'll feel a deeper stretch here. You'll feel some glute activation here. And just stick with one leg, don't alternate. So you do a minute a side or maybe 30 seconds each side. And then so when you get into that other leg, like I said, lift up. One other key point to this movement is make sure your hips are square to the ground. And then last but not least, you're gonna put your heels in the ground. And we're gonna call this a modified hollow hold. So hollow hold without, you know, the only thing on the ground is the back. But this is TRX, especially if you struggle with hollow hold. What you do is crunch up and lift up like this, reach your arm by your side. You still feel some ab work, but it's not gonna be impacting your back and hips if you feel that sometimes on ab work. You can still get a mild ab workout. And after everything you do, this might actually feel intense. So that is it. Those are your eight movements for a good active recovery to help your body feel refreshed, get back into that new year hit training or whatever you're doing. Now, if you like stuff like this, or you still aren't sure where to start with your new year, or you're looking to change it up or something different, you're just like throwing your hands up in the air and you give up, whatever the case may be, if you feel yourself searching for something more, click on that link below. Let's set up a free phone call, conversation to get you moving better, feeling better in the right direction for you. Not for some masses, not some mass to produce thing for you. Personalized for a customized roadmap because that's what we do here at Flex MP. Well, thanks for tuning in to this. Check out some more videos on this channel. Make sure you click like, share, and subscribe, and click on that notification tip today to all the videos that we're putting out constantly throughout the week to benefit you and everyone out there. Again, thanks a lot for everyone that tunes in. Have an awesome new year. Take care.